types of lines of symmetry. As we learned before, a symmetrical shape is a shape that can be divided into two identical halves. And this line is called a line of symmetry. It divides the shape into two identical halves. Let's take a look at this square, which is an example of a symmetrical shape. As you can see, if we fold it across this line of symmetry, we get these two identical halves or parts. Similarly, we can fold the square in this way to get two identical halves. So this line is also a line of symmetry for the square. The first line of symmetry is called a vertical line of symmetry because it cuts the shape from top to bottom. While the second line of symmetry cuts the shape horizontally from right to left. Therefore, it is called a horizontal line of symmetry. So, sometimes we can find more than one line of symmetry in a symmetrical shape. Let's take another look at the square. Can you see any lines of symmetry other than the horizontal and the vertical ones in the square? Well, we can split the square across the corners to form two identical halves. Similarly, we can split it across the other opposite corners to get another two identical parts. These two lines of symmetry are called diagonal lines of symmetry. So, a square has four lines of symmetry. One horizontal line, one vertical line, and two diagonal lines of symmetry. To summarize, a symmetrical shape can have one or more lines of symmetry. The type of the line of symmetry depends on how the line splits the shape into two identical halves. There are three types of lines of symmetry. A vertical line, a horizontal line, and finally, a diagonal line of symmetry. In this lesson, you learned how to identify the different types of lines of symmetry in a symmetrical shape.